well boys well done uh, a good night's work for both of you wasn't it yeah it was um, it was nice to be involved in, in both of the goals or two of the goals at the start and uh, yeah we were really pleased with the three points I think it, it goes down as an assist for both of you surely I mean Prowse is maybe a little bit more clean cut but that's an assist for you isn't it I, w I wouldn't say that you know I, um, it was my shot in the first place and it hit the target it was going on target you know and um, Saido come in and buried it I mean, being serious though, I mean, for both of you, it was a, a good performance and a good night's work. Yeah, it was, yeah, you know, we, we were confident before the game that we could, we could win the game. Um, it was just a case of being professional and uh, going out and, and applying ourselves right. And I think we did that um, right throughout the game. And uh, I think we rightly got the three points. I mean, it was, it was dominant really, wasn't it, for, for the whole game really, Luke? Yeah, very dominant. You know, we knew um, from when we played them out in Finland that it was going to be a hard game. But we knew when we, when we play at our ground, you know, we, um, we take full control. And I think we did that today. Is it, is it slightly different the way, you, the way you play? I mean, obviously you're used to a very specific playing style now with Southampton. You come here, you have to change your game slightly. I mean, you're both sitting a little bit deeper, really, weren't you? Yeah, I think um, back at the club, I think it's a bit more high press. I think the manager likes us to press quite high. Um, it's quite similar here, but um, not as intense, I think, only when we lose the ball. But, um, but I think the, the way we play at the club definitely helps us when we come away. Yeah, certainly for you, Luke. It seemed that as the game went on, you were getting yourself forward a little bit more. Yeah, obviously in the first half, I got told to stay back a bit, you know, because... Um, Obviously, sometimes when we lost the ball, it was my space was free. But in the second half, they went down to ten men, which obviously meant I could get forward more, and I did that. How have you found the the last few day, the few days in general? I mean, going away of England's always a, an honour, really, isn't it? Has it been a good experience so far? Yeah, it has definitely. I think um, I think the squad have done well to to adapt to the, to the new hotel we we moved to. Um, that, that was a bit of a bit of a difficult challenge for us but I think you know we, we've all coped with it well and uh, I think we've all applied ourselves right off the pitch and uh, I think you know we put in a real good performance tonight. I mean as James says it was a bit of a bit of a change really for you wasn't it you got to St George's Park for a couple of days and you've had to come down here have you dealt with that okay? Yeah we dealt with it we dealt with it good but it was hard with the traveling you know we've probably done about five hours in the coach over the past three days which isn't normal but we adapted to it you know and we come to there and we put in a, a good performance. Nice chance now I guess to, to try and catch your breath really for a few days before you go and play San Marino next week. Yeah I, see, I think you know as, as professionals it's important to get our rest and recovery in and, recovery in and uh, I think um, you know again this is another game that we fancy ourselves to win so um, so yeah we'll, we'll prepare right as always and I'm sure you know, if we do that we'll, we'll get the win. Attention now I guess turns to, to Wembley tomorrow I mean I, I imagine you'll all be watching what goes on there. Yeah I'll be watching I'm actually going to the game so um, it'll be good to see and hopefully add some um, J-Rod get a game. Yeah, I mean, I think we've seen the team news, haven't we, that, that Ricky's missing out of an injury, but, you know, there's a big potential there for, for Ads and Jay both to get on for their debuts. Yeah, definitely. I didn't I didn't realise Ricky was injured, you know, but now it's the chance for Ads and J-Rod to step up and I know they're going to do well. Will you get a chance to watch the game, Joe? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be watching at home. I um, mean, you know, I think the two <laughs> lads who work really hard in training and, uh, you know, I think there's no surprise to us that, that they got the call up. Um, you know, and I'm sure the way they act, I think, you know, they'll, they'll be fine. We can't let you go without talking about the set pieces, actually. I can't believe I've let it slip through, but yeah. you know a lot of people are now noticing it, aren't they? You can yeah. see people are talking about it and, and seeing the set pieces. Is that something you're proud of, really, that people are seeing it and noticing that? Yeah, it is. You know, it's something uh, a responsibility I took on during pre-season to, uh, to to go and practice, and uh, it's nice to, to, to see that um, that it's paying off. And uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <coughs> now, some of you are told as youngsters in the academy, so no, it's good. And, uh, and Luke, I know I've asked you in every single interview about when your first goal is going to come, Southampton or England. Which is going to be first? Um, either. either, you know, we got we obviously got San Marino on Tuesday, so you never know what will happen then. But I, I hope it will be for Saints, you know, I want to score um, at home. Yeah, well, I should ask you, I mean, after obviously the game on, on Tuesday, you quickly go back to Southampton and start looking forward to Arsenal, which, you know, as, as we kind of suspected, it's going to be a, a top of the table clash now, really, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's, it's weird to be saying that sort of stuff, but, um, but I think... You know, all the lads are really confident at the moment. I think it's a challenge that that, that, that we fancy, and um, you know, I think if we if we apply ourselves right, we'll do well. I mean, it's a different game, really, isn't it? I, mean, I don't think you were in the team when we went to Arsenal last year, so it's a new experience for you, Luke. No, yeah, definitely. Um, the next two games we've got coming up, you know, will show whereabouts we are. You know, um, if we can challenge for the top, then if you take points from there, you know, you know, we're doing well. Do you think that'll be, you know, the thing that really makes people take notice of Southampton if we can actually get some results out of those next two? Yeah, definitely. It's, two of the biggest clubs in the in the league you know and hopefully we're going to go there positive you know to to pick up points so yeah